Hi, welcome back to Kimchi Channel. Enjoy watching. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you have an amazing day. Please do subscribe, like, and comment if you want to support my channel or join my Discord. Thank you. Okay, let's jump to the story right away. Jing Jing, yeah. Jing Jing, yeah. What's up? The ferret says something that needs to go out. Just want to inform. Then go. I'm about to go. Where are these two guys arguing again? Winston, don't bother yourself with a kid. Just go get busy. Okay. <laughs> Wanna compete with me? Jing Jing, come and sleep. Coming? What are you trying to do? Haha, <laughs> you're mine tonight. Oops. Parker, hold on. But suddenly stops Parker to go further and it makes Parker upset. What's the matter? Can I? An ant seems to be moving. It seems that doing that routine is really good for the child. Let me see. I don't feel it. Parker is very curious and really wants to feel the movement. Is it because the baby movement is to right and your hand is to thick and fresh? That's why you can feel it. No way. I must feel it. Parker flips by his dress and shrinks his head under her dress and puts his face onto her stomach. I don't believe this nonsense. If you drill any further, you can go into my stomach and say hello to An An. I don't care, I still haven't heard it. Mia said that the babies could kick his face through the stomach. It's alright, right? Wouldn't Jing Jing be in pain? She stopped moving now. Ha, huh, I'm still looking forward to hear it. Can it really be heard through the stomach? I'm seriously doubting this sad theory. Ah, could it be? What? Parker is listening seriously when Bai suddenly thought out of something. Your ears have a problem? It turns out that Bai was not serious and only teasing him. Ting Ting, you write to me. <laughs> I won't let you off. Oops. <laughs> Pecker catches Bai's body and pins her down punishing her with some tickles. <laughs> it tickles. I was wrong. Parker presses both by his arms and pins her body under him completely. The surrounding eventually turns romantic for this young couple. Jing Jing, yeah? When they're staring at each other, Winston suddenly came back. Jing Jing, what are you talking about not moving? And breaks their moment. You came back too soon. Parker turns into rage that Winston came back at the wrong time. And and she moved a few times just now and I let Parker to reason. Is that so? It would be great if I can touch it as well. Yeah, and Anne has become more and more active these days. Um, I... I'm coming to sleep. <laughs> uh, yeah, just come. Winston walks over, moving the hands and feet from the same side in tandem while wearing a solemn expression. Mm. Winston lays down next to Bai. Winston pulls a little bit of quilt onto his body, but the tuck seems to have a counteracting force. The quilt that could cover half of his body, to begin with, ends up covering nothing of his body now. What's going on? Bai notices there is a quiet pile of the quilt on the side of the wall. <sighs> the fight for the quilt is a little intense. Seeing poor Winston is shivering in the cold, Bai can't help but concern about him. Even I'm getting in the way from the side close to Winston. The night will be long, and the entrance hole is wide open. Without a quilt, it will be freezing cold. By pokes Winston to tell him something. Winston. Yeah? Go get another hide. This crit is not enough. Winston is surprised and blushing when Bai told him to do so. Ah, uh, I... Alright. Immediately he gets up to walk over to the wooden chest to get another hide. I'll go get it right away. Meanwhile, Bai gets relieved when Winston is away. She was actually so nervous sleeping next to Winston. 